feel it because the thing with the ozone layer, which is what I'm concerned with, yeah. is that it's so abstract because it's up in the stratosphere and people don't have it next to them and it's not a reality. But something like this measures it and you know it's real. And NASA it's real has plastic. told us is this it's real plastic. Is biodegrade? Or? I don't know if it'll biodegrade, but it'll keep it up soon. Just a little apprehensive about these taking over our planet, you know. But it is plastic, isn't it? Yeah, it's plastic. We've got a lot of plastic in the world, too. I'm a little worried about that. We can get rid of all the plastic. No, we can't. You know, some people take this too far. I saw a thing on some news show where there are people who literally feel they're, uh, like, allergic to the world. Have you seen these poor bastards? They go out, they live in yeah. homes, they won't ever go out, and uh, I guess... Well, I mean, that's taking something yeah, really to, to the that gets psychological lines. and to extremes. But there's no getting away from the fact that we have an extreme situation. Yeah. And with the ozone layer, that's one example and maybe the most critical example that we've got. Okay, paint me, a, paint me a reasonably cataclysmic picture of what happens if we don't rectify the ozone situation in the next generation. Well... You just can't go the worst, outside. The worst, the worst case scenario. No, it, it can get heavier than that. Already, we have a great uh, increase in skin cancers and cataracts, and a reduction in the immune systems mm -hmm. from the UVBs that are coming through, because of the reduction in the ozone layer. Now, uh, the worst case scenario is the damage that can be done to the plankton, the photoplankton, which lives on the surface of the oceans of the world and is the first step in the food chain of the planet. Okay, that and goes, and what goes that, next? That goes, well, then the first step in the food chain has gone to the entire ocean. The ocean goes next, and you can take it from there. Yeah. So it's pretty And we're drastic. all real thin a few and years we're later. we're all real thin. <laughs> all we're right. in, in deep trouble. And another thing with it, it's, it's a lot of people think it's a controversial issue, but it isn't anymore. The evidence is in, and the, the people distributing the evidence are NASA. Mm -hmm. It's not some weird fringe group, and it's not even a, a group of private institutions or scientists. This is NASA evidence that shows... I'm not sure I believe the general population believes it's controversial. I think they no, believe there, it. I there just are think groups get... that try to promote the idea that it's controversial yeah. in order to inhibit Rush action limbo. being taken. Yeah. 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 Well, I think people believe it, but they get hit with so much now, it seems like everything... Sorry. That... Yeah, can't help it. I there don't... is so much. We've been so negligent for so long. We've got so much. We've got all these problems, but we've got to deal with them. You know, life ain't easy anymore. And it's the problem is it's going to be harder and harder for the children and for their children. I went out in the sun when I was a kid. It was a main part of my childhood and a beauty of my childhood. And my children have to stay out of it as much as possible. So we got to start now. Yeah. OK, we'll come back. We're going to talk a little bit more about showbiz after this, right, with Dean Stockwell. We'll be right back, folks, after this commercial. <laughs> D Dean Stockwell. Yeah, uh, okay. okay, now tell us what... No, All I don't right. want to tell you quickly. You don't want to talk about show, but let's talk about this. Okay. We're buttonheads, it, and it, I want to talk it, about it, Quantum. It's Earth Day, all right? Yeah, okay. Quantum, we know Quantum Leap is a wonderful show. I love it, and I'm proud of it. All okay, right, fine. <laughs> I would be derelict if I didn't mention what the people, the people who are in the audience, the people in the television audience, what you as individuals can do about this problem with the ozone layer. And people don't know, so I've got to tell them. Everybody has a car, just about. Everybody's got a refrigerator. In the car, in your own car, there are what these things, CFCs, that go up and break up the ozone layer. It's in Freon. That's one of the main culprits is Freon. Also in your refrigerator. You've got to make sure when you get work done on the car and the engine or on the AC of the car that the garage that you take it to has a recycling machine. We've got a picture of that if you want to look at it. It's a real machine. It recycles the Freon and doesn't vent it. In 1995, it's going to be against the law to vent anymore. But till then, more and more goes up, more and more goes up. And in 1993, everyone will have to have one of these machines that services cars and, and refrigerators to recycle. But it's not 1993 yet. So you have to make sure where you take your car has one of these machines. Does it only come in blue? No, this is a red one. Wasn't that a red one? Yeah, that's a red one. Oh, yeah, that's a red My one. My eyes are burnt out. Little the ozone. Oh, purple uh, style. <laughs> And we have an outfit called SOS, Save Our Skies, that works with Citizens for a Better Environment, where people can get grants up to $500 to help them buy one of these machines before they have to by law in 1993. And before then, the people in the television audience, through your Lions Club, Kiwanis Club, and this and that, you can get together and raise the money to buy one of these machines for your landfill so that the cars and refrigerators dumped there don't release the CFCs. We can't release this stuff. Anymore. We'll put the address of uh, Citizens for a Better Environment 
up on the screen there. Now, what about, uh, now, now, this is a pretty direct man to the people plea here, but what's your show do about it? Is, that, is your show adhere to these principles, or do you butt heads with those people Well, I've been, there? I've been butting heads. I mean, Why? What goes on there that you don't ag well, agree with? It's not that the, uh, it's not what I don't agree with. It's just they found difficulty in writing a quantum leap script centering on environmental issues. I have been striving for three and a half years to get a show exclusively centered around environmental issue. I hope next season, because we're picked up for another 22, that they will finally come through, and they have said they would. The best I've been able to do up to now is put in ad libs here and there about this and that, and I, I've succeeded in doing that. I can't believe you just ought to take a walk. So just don't show up one day. <laughs> well, the people, you know, I, uh, right up there now, three, I have a little landfill of my own up there. You see a lot of the people look very disgruntled. They're right near my landfill. But, uh, all right, so we have that address one last time. This is Dean Stockwell, environmental champion. And, uh, can we put that address up one last time? Citizens for Better Environment SOS Project. 122. I guess we can talk about the show some other time. I, you know, I like your show. I'd like to talk about that, too. Next time you come on, can we talk about I'd that? i sure. Great. Yeah? All right. Stockwell, you're an animal. All, All right, brother. Take care. We'll be right back with comedian Carl LeBeau right after this. This portion...